Hello friends, welcome to Core Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. So in this video, we are going to see basic authentication. It is one of the popular type to authenticate your Web API. So let us understand it thoroughly. So first of all, you will see why we need to authenticate a Web API. Okay. See, once you have created your own Web API, then definitely it is available to each and every user okay but you want to restrict that vbpi to some specified group of people in that case you have to provide the security and to maintain that security of vbpi from unauthorized users authentication comes in picture so what it means basically only valid users can access the VBPA. Otherwise, it will throw an unauthorized error. So, one of the popular type of authenticating or securing your VBPI is basic authentication. It is an easy way to authorize user in request and provide an access. Means whenever you are requesting any method or any endpoint of your web API at that time along with a request you will specify all the necessary things related to basic authentication definitely we are going to see all these things practically so next we'll see how basic authentication works okay so suppose you are requesting any uri of web API okay and while requesting your uri of web api a client didn't send a credentials okay means here we are assuming that our web api is secured so only authenticated users can use it so in that case we are assuming that client didn't send the credentials along with a request header okay in that case the server will return unauthorized response and it also includes www authenticate header means this header will be written as a part of a response so that a client can understand that this particular web api is secure and it needs authentication and along with this header it also provides the kind of authentication required so in this case we are focusing on basic authentication so the value of this authentication header is www dash authentic will be basic okay so there are other popular types also means along with the basic authentication there is token based authentication also and definitely we are going to study that also but first of all we'll start with a simple one so that's why i choose basic authentication first so it will be easy to understand so come to the point so here what i mentioned so along with your request if client didn't send a credential in that case server server will return unauthorized response and it also include this header www dash authenticate along with its value means in this case it, in this case it will be basic so the next point is now this time client sends the request along with a credential in the authorization header okay so basically these credentials are provided through the header and that header is called as authorization header so the format of credentials will be name colon password now assume that your username is scott so how you will mention it scott then colon and your password is tiger so you'll mention the password here so in this format basically the credentials are supplied by the client and these credentials are base 64 encoded right so we can't provide our credential simply like this right otherwise it will be misused so that's why whenever we are using basic authentication our credentials are base 64 encoded this is one of the encoding technique you can say so it is in encrypted form so nobody can misuse your credentials now the next step is if your credentials are valid then your request is processed and response is sent to client 
now whenever we are using basic authentication remember one more thing since we are sending sensitive data means we are sending basically our credentials and that are always attached with each and every http request it should be transferred in encoded format which is base64 encoded encoding and along with that you will use https protocol means instead of plain http protocol it is advised to use http secure protocol okay since we are passing the sensitive information now in the next video we'll see how to implement basic authentication in asp.net vbpi and then after we'll see how to consume vbpi with basic authentication so i hope you enjoy this video if you have any doubts or any concern please write it to the comment section thank you for watching